On that note, we're going to shift our focus to some breaking news that is coming in at this point of time, where uh, as Israel Hamas war marks one year anniversary, French President Emmanuel Macron has paid tribute to the victims and the families of the victims as of the war. He has said that the pain remains vivid and uh, as it was a year ago, he has also called it pain of wounded humanity. Brian on the telecast with me. Brian, take our viewers through the statements that have now been made by Emmanuel Macron. He has now paid a tribute to the victims as well. Uh, well, Saudi definitely now French President Emmanuel Macron honored the victims of the Hamas attack on Israel, marking the first anniversary of the massacre that claimed around 1,200 lives and resulted in the 251 hostages. Uh, he goes on to even rather shares it on platform X uh, in Mexican Hebrew and both French and says that the pain endures as intense as it was a year ago and the suffering of the Israeli people. Um, and the anguish of wounded humanity, as he expresses even on up the, uh, in his platform, and he says that they will not rather forget the victims, the hostage or the family that was left with broken hearts from loss or anticipation, and even extends his uh, fraternal thoughts to them. This is what he has gone on to say, and he says, yes, the pain remains as vivid as it was a year ago, and the pain of the Israeli people, uh, the pain of the wounded humanity, and also says that he will not forget the victims, the hostages, or the families with broken hearts from uh, absence or waiting, and he sends his rather fraternal thoughts. Yes, sir. All right, uh, Brian, stay on with us. In fact, more breaking news coming in at this point of time. Israel's uh, has, in fact, uh, spent, US has, in fact, spent almost 17.9 billion on military aid to Israel since October 7th, 2023, as per the report for Brown University's Coast of War project. This has been released on the anniversary of Hamas-Israel war. An additional 4.86 billion has, uh, in fact, dollars has been spent into stepped up U.S. military operations in the region. Brian on the telecast with me. Brian, take our viewers to the details that have been outlined in this report. Well, sorry, definitely now the United States has allocated a record of at least $17.9 billion in military aid to Israel since uh, the onset of the Gaza war. Uh, as even detailed in a report by Brown University's Cost of War Project and also released on the anniversary of, released on the anniversary of the Hamas attack on Israel. Additionally, researchers are also noting that approximately $4.86 billion has also been spent on increased U.S. military operations in the region since the October 7, 2023 attacks. And this includes costs that were associated with a um, Navy-led initiative to protect uh, commercial shipping uh, from strikes by Yemen Houthis who were acting in solidarity with Hamas. And even the report also finalized before Israel opened a new front against Iranian-backed Hezbollah militants in uh, Lebanon in late September is one of the first assessments of the estimated U.S. expenditure as the Biden administration also supports Israel in its conflict in Gaza and Lebanon while attempting to contain hostilities from Iran groups as well. Now, the financial implications are compounded by significant human losses where uh, 1,200 people in Israel were killed. Uh, you know, a year ago, 42,000 deaths happened in Gaza as well. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, sharing all those details with our viewers. We're going to leave it there. And